So guys, new week of training, week number 12 of our program. We're going to work today, starting from a good position, it could be back control, okay? Already, work with the hooks in, okay? In a sitting position. Now, how to control? It's very helpful, this kind of grip, okay? Hands under the armpits, controlling the collars, right here. And one detail you can have to be close on him is to always pull to get closer, okay? Don't give space to him to cool move. Now, remember, whenever you're in this position, you have three seconds to hold, okay, before the referee gets you the points. So, how to get the points? Never, guys, cross your feet, okay? Number one, for rule, referee is not going to give you the points, going to wait an action. And number, uh, number two, and all, all the other possibility is the other person is going to close a triangle on top of your feet. And you are going to a straight ankle lock, okay? It's very painful. You can lose a match only for this reason. So, uh, get the points. Moving your feet inside the legs, okay? Right here, nice and tight. Pulling back. One, two, three. You are going to get four points for the, for, for the position. Now, whenever you are here, usually what you can do? Attack the arms or the neck, okay? One of the most common attack example is your neck and choke. But we're going to work whenever he has a, a good position with the head close to the neck, okay? So if I work here, it's hard, okay? If he wants to work the arms, it's hard, okay? So uh, I have my control here. I want to work to one side, look, I'm going to move as deep as I can, my right arm under the armpit, okay? Because whenever he wants to attack, he feels in a dangerous situation whenever your arm is on top of the shoulder, okay? But if I'm under, I go deep, I can just control first the other collar. I go slow, okay? You don't need to rush. So uh, I go as deep as I can, look, I, I work as deep as I can. He's still defending, it's fine. Now look, you need to get a better angle. So use one hand on the mat. I move to the right side because it's my right arm using it. I scoop. When I scoop, I want to leave my right elbow up as much as I can to go even deeper. Now I need to move my feet. Look, one foot is moving out, other foot is moving in. Doesn't matter if you trap the arm or not, okay? You don't need to um, be on top of the arm. Doesn't matter, okay? Here it's fine. Nice and tight. Look, I'm hooking his hips. Now he doesn't know what happened behind. He wants to control Ezekiel. To control Ezekiel, your sleeve can't be close to your fingers. Because look, if I make my four fingers inside without keeping my, my sleeve close to the finger, look, I don't have much room to work. Okay, so look, I'm going to stretch as much as I can. I'm going to pull and look, sleeve close to my elbow. Now look, ah, it's completely different. I'm going to pass my hand and my wrist on top of his uh, shoulder. So look, ah, right here under his chin my hand has to be open controlling the shoulder now uh, i start to stretch my arms in the same time as i as, as i fall look i fall on my back <clears throat> on my side stretching and like that you are going to stop right here to the side and stretching the arms